What is going on guys, it's 42 Sports here, and today I am back with another college football prediction video, and this time is between the Penn State Nittany Lions versus the Ohio State Buckeyes at Beaver Stadium at Penn State. Uh, time is 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, September 29th, which is next weekend. Uh, coverage will be on ABC as usual, and these, uh, Ohio State and Penn State, are, are uh, they hate each other, and it's a, it's a great rivalry. One of the best rivalries in sports. Both teams are 4-0, 1-0 in the conference. Uh, this is a huge game for both teams because this can decide on going to the college football playoffs. And this will be huge for both teams because Penn State, Penn State needs to stop being slow on offense in the beginning of the game because they almost lost to Appalachian State, which they should have probably lost to App, App State. Uh, they did then beat Penn, uh, Pitt, Pitt and Kent State. Not really great uh, teams. Um, but they also were a little kind of slow on Friday night against Illinois, and they got to be on fire at the beginning of the game and all the game long against Ohio State because Ohio State's defense has done really, really well. I've watched them play against TCU, Oregon State, but Oregon State's really not good. Rutgers really isn't good. The only good, great team that they played is against TCU, and, man, their defense has dis they destroyed TCU uh, in the second half, and if, if they... Uh, can catch, if they can beat Penn State early on, then it's going to be a r long day for Penn State because their offense has been slow for the past few games. Yes, it uh, seems like a score is uh, what is set, like 63-51, uh, but Penn State's offense has been slow. Tracy McSorley has done really well, though, uh, controlling this team. He's done uh, excellent. Also, uh, for Ohio State, they've done really well. Uh, for Haskins has done awesome. J.K. Dobbins uh, for Penn State. Uh, the running back, um, Miles Sanders, has done really, really a uh, great job. And also, Helmer or Hamler has done a great job as well with Campbell for Ohio State. And as you guys know, I go through the stats, and then at the end of the video, I will predict the game uh, from both teams so I won't be uh, biased. So what the matchup predictor says is uh, Penn State has home field advantage, and of course they have 53.6% uh, against Ohio State's 46.4%. Uh, versus Penn State. Um, so, we're going to go through the passing yards, the rushing yards, and receiving yards to the season leaders for week number five, which is crazy. Uh, time is going by fast with this uh, the each weekend. Um, so, as you guys know, the starter quarterback for Ohio State is Dwayne Haskins. Already through, five, f through four games, uh, he went 87 for 115 completions to percentage, 1,194 passing yards was really great, 16 touchdowns, and one Interception. Tracy McSorley, McSorley uh, from Penn State, 57 uh, to 106 completions to uh, attempts. My bad, not percentage. Um, 763 uh, passing yards, 8 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. They're mostly like a running type team with a one back. Uh, J.K. Dobbins for Ohio State, uh, already through 4 games, uh, 56 carries, 323 rushing yards, and 2 touchdowns. Now, Penn State's running back uh, has done really well, taking over uh, Saquon Barkley, who is now with the New York Giants. Uh, 71 carries, uh, 495 rushing yards, 5 touchdowns. Really, really good for the past 4 games. Uh, Paris Campbell, we have uh, 19 receptions, uh, 299 receiving yards, 5 touchdowns for Ohio State. While for uh, Penn State, we have uh, KJ uh, Hamler, 9 receptions, 170 yards, and 3 touchdowns. Not bad at all. Also, uh, Ohio State and Penn State overall is crazy with the offense. Uh, points per game, Ohio State 54.5, Penn State 55.5, which is crazy. Uh, points allowed, which is really huge for both teams. Uh, Ohio State beats out Penn State 17.0 uh, to 19.5. Really isn't really that big of a margin. Uh, total yards in general, both teams have done really well, over 500 total yards. Ohio State 599.0, uh, Penn State 514.5. Uh, yards passing wise, um, Ohio State beats out Penn State because they're more uh, running. Uh, 365.8 uh, total yards of passing, while Penn State has 239.5 yards of passing. Uh, yards of rushing, we have Ohio State 233.3, while Penn State with 275.0. So they win that one. Uh, total yards. Allow, which Ohio State wins on this one, uh, 323.3 uh, 
yards allowed, total yards allowed, while Penn State 345.8. It may not be, it may look big, but the margin really isn't that big uh, between the two. Uh, passing yards allowed, which is really good for both teams. Penn State actually wins at this one with 173.3 passing yards allowed, while Ohio State 181.3. Again, still the margin really isn't that big. Both teams are respectively well do, are doing great, and they, both teams are really good. Uh, rushing yards allowed, Ohio State wins this one by about three, 30 points uh, or 30 yards. Uh, 142.0 uh, yards allowed, rushing yards allowed, while um, Penn State 172.5. All right, so the past four games, uh, Ohio State's beaten Oregon, Rutgers, TCU, Tulane, and Penn State's beaten Appalachian State in overtime, Penn, uh, Pitt, uh, Kent State, and Illinois. So, as a further ado, the final scores between this, these two games, uh, Penn State will probably uh, could pull out the upset against Ohio State. I mean, it's not really upset, but if you guys know what I mean, um, college football uh, playoffs hopes upset. Uh, I believe that Penn State could beat Ohio State 31 to 25, and also, uh, or 31 to uh, 27 in the, in the least, or 20, yes, yeah, somewhere around there, uh, to be at least. Um, and then Ohio State, if if uh, Penn State doesn't really move the ball down well the whole game, uh, I believe that they're gonna win 38 to 21. I know it sounds, seems like a big margin. Uh, but I feel like Ohio State has a better defense, a better overall offense than Penn State. But I feel like Penn State could pull off this upset and for a revenge game because, as you guys know, last year they lost 39-38 to Ohio State. But actually, I'm going to redo the, sc uh, the score. All right, guys, 42 Sports here. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. If I messed up and probably forgot, the score from previous prediction. Let me know in the comments below. And if you're an Ohio State fan, uh, who you think is going to win? And if you're a Penn State fan, do you think your team's going to win as well? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day and peace.